What's up everyone? Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks for your device. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So my first tweak I want to share with all of you is Home Screen Designer. Now what it does is it gives you different layouts on your home screen. So basically, as you can see here, my icons are kind of shifted downward, allowing space for a widget. And then if I go to my next page, you'll notice that the widgets, I meant the, the icons here are not the same layout as they are here. And this was done with Home Screen Designer. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tweak. I'm not going to show you every little detail about it, but I will at least discuss some things so you can get the general idea of what you might be able to do with it. So looking here on the first tab, which is called Layout Maker, you can add icons here and put them in the formation that you want them to be in. And then you can save that particular layout, which is basically what I did. I created a layout a specific way that I wanted it, and then I saved it. And then you can apply it by going to the save section here and looking at all the layouts that you've saved or that you saved from others under this upload tab here. So the upload tab will give you different layouts that other people have made that you can use on your device. Now, what to me makes home screen designers stand out that much more is that as you can see, and as I mentioned, you have one layout on one page and then another layout on another. So it's not identical. So I did not want space for widgets on my second page. And with home screen designer, I was able to achieve that look. Or if I did want space, I could do it here. So you can have the same look on all of these pages or have different looks as I have done. Brings me to my next tweak, which is iWidgets. So iWidgets allowed me to put this uh, widget here on my screen. So having an Android device for a little while and then coming back to an iPhone, I'm not going to lie, that's some that's a feature that I really missed. However, with the jailbreak, I'm able to now have widgets on my iPhone. So how you would basically do it is you download it and then you hold your finger on your screen here and it'll pull up all the widgets you have installed. So I have a quite a few here, but I'm not going to go through the list, but I will show you here. This clock was with the widget called X class I widget. And then this search bar, which actually does work, was done with an I widgets pack five. It's a very nice tweak in terms of making your device look a little bit different than the rest. I must say that this tweak right here is one of my favorites and it's called groovy lock. And that's how I got this lock screen here. Now this right here down there is another tweak that's forecast, but that was in my last video. But what I'm speaking about in terms of how I got this lock screen was with groovy lock and having this layout here with the time here and the date here, very simple, very clean. And that's honestly all I need here. So with groovy lock, you can find that in your settings. And if I go to theme here, you're able to choose what theme you want on your lock screen and configure it if there are any options to configure it. But that's basically what groovy lock does. It has a bunch of different themes that you can install and make your lock screen look a little bit different. But that's one of the favorite themes that I have um, currently installed on mine. Up next, we have Polis which will allow you to customize your control center. So if I slide up here, you'll see that my control center looks a little bit different and it has some custom icons that aren't typically there, such as the respring option here or this tweak that I have installed called Flux. That's the switch to turn that on and off there. And you are also able to change the applications that you have down here as well. So you'll notice down here in the bottom right that I have one to quickly enable app heads or to turn off app heads, which is another tweak <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, but I'm not going to jump into that right now. But this is basically Polis. It can be configured in your settings in terms of getting your icons where you want and getting what icons you want up there as well. So coming in at number six, we have Brevity. And what this particular tweak does is it allows you to have a default text sitting here so that you don't even have to type anything. You can just hit the send button here and it'll go ahead and send what you have. Now, I have the trial version of this installed, so that's what that pop up was about if you saw it. But nonetheless, Brevity allows you to send the message without having to type it. So it allows you to customize your default text by hopping into your settings. So here I am in my settings for Brevity, and this is where you can change the text here so that, say for instance, you find yourself always saying what's up. Then you can put what's up there so that you don't even have to type it. You just tap the send button as I did, and it will send whatever the default text is that you have entered there. For the seventh tweak I wanna share with you, it's called Multi Icon Mover Plus. Now this to me is a must on having my device. Like it's one of the first tweaks I install because it's that serious. What is, what it, so multi icon mover allows you to move more than one on your home screen, which I default option, but it's not. So thankfully we have this tweak to use, but what you do is you hold your finger down on your icon, let it wiggle. Then you tap on the icons that you want to move. Actually, I don't want to really move those. Let me find some that I don't care about moving. So say for instance, I wanted to move these two icons. Um, 
onto this page here. Instead of having to drag them, especially if you have a lot of applications that you're trying to move at once, you can just tap them as I did, hit the home button, and it moves all of the icons for you. So I'm going to go back and move them back here. And now they're back in place. Now it does not let you move folders. So that's something that I would like to see. But since this tweak has been out and since I've been jailbreaking, I haven't seen it as an option. So I don't know if it's ever going to come, but at least you can move your icons in a group. Up next, we have transparent volume, which is a tweak that I really enjoy because Oftentimes when you're looking at videos, especially or something on your screen, you don't want that little volume HUD to obstruct your view. So with transparent volume, you're able to adjust the opacity of it so that either you don't see it at all or you see just a little bit. And in my case, because I still want to know the level of my volume, I have mine set at a very low um, transparency. So I'm going to turn it up like this and you can see it's barely visible there. But that was all done with transparent volume. And you can adjust the settings of it in your settings by just going to it and um, playing with it and tweaking it to your liking. Now, number nine, we have sleek code. So sleek code gives you just that, a sleek looking passcode lock screen. So instead of the circles and all of that, you now have transparent numbers. So you can just type in your code as you normally would and just change the feel and the look of it um, personally, I like how this looks better to the point that I forgot how it used to look. <laughs> Definitely a tweak that you should check out. So moving on to the next one, we have the very last tweak I'm going to be showing you today, which is a boot logo pack. Now a boot logo pack is a tweak that I recently discovered that changes the way your boot logo is. So you no longer have the Apple logo, but you have one of 25 boot logos that they provide you with that can be changed within Winterboard. So I'm going to respring my device real quick and demonstrate what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, I have Bart. So he's peeking from around the corner. Instead of the Apple logo, you get him. But there are 25, there are 24 others that you can choose from, which are pretty cool. And it's all done within Winterboard. So as you can see here, you have like Watermelon, Superman, uh, SpongeBob. You have the Punisher, Patriots, if you're a Patriots fan, uh, the PS4 logo. A bunch of different ones that you can kind of play with and figure out which one you like the best to use daily. Other than that, that is everything. Those are the 10 tweaks that I wanted to share with all of you today. And if you're wondering what theme this is, it's called Avalon. But that does sum everything up. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.